<laughs> it's especially annoying when it's like earlier in the game because later in the game, like my level, my uh, cryptic character has like three different level 30 weapons. So usually if something resists the one I typically use, I'll have another one ready. Really? Oh. Scumbag. Red switch activated. Um, switch back to that. Oh, I don't even need to fight that thing. Sweet. I'll fight the stupid beetle bot though. Alright, 42. Not too bad. We both have 62 HP. Isn't that funny? Ouch. There's another healing thing right there. Ooh, okay. So if I can. Alright, stun him. smoke screen and then heal we'll heal this time since we're right by the switch and there's a healing pad right there so if I can just make it past this fight then <laughs> yellow switch activated Forty-seven. That's snazzy. Really? Ugh. Beetle or bee bot surviving with one HP like a Pokemon. Oh, darn it. Long periods of time without saying anything again, like a tool. Alright. Um. Oh, we got the blue switch unlocked. Let's see if you can open the door. Door is now unlocked. My scanners are cutting out. You'll be on, on your own.
Seriously? Ugh. Did that out of order. Oops. I meant to throw my knife. All right. I think we should be coming up on the end here. I seem to remember this quest being long and painful, but this was also one of the earlier quests that I did when I played this game. Ha! Suck it. Didn't even need the extra defense points for that. Force bridge is not as reliable as it once was. Crackles, but oh, oh, what the Sneevels? Sneevels? Why did it have to be Sneevels? Oh, well, I'm not worried about healing now. Seriously? I missed one. Sneevels? Why did it? Is he just gonna say that every time I go back to the screen? How'd they even get here? Cordana. <laughs> I wonder who that's a reference to. You made it. Oh, thank the maker. I'm Cordana. I'm sure you have many questions, and I will answer what I can. What are you? My name is Cordana. I am an onboard artificial intelligence unit for this mech before it ceased to function. You're the onboard what now? Hmm. That's right, the reset. Okay, think of me as a magic illusion. I've been here for a long time. A long time ago, I lost control of the security robots that you were fighting. They destroyed all the repair bots about 2700 years ago. 2700 years? I think so. I've been confused for the last few centuries. I believe that my program is degrading. Oh, that's a bummer. I don't know what that means, but it sounds bad. Is there anything I can do to help? You already have. Since we have the since the wind orb was stolen, we've all been sharing some backup power supply with the rest of the robots. Destroyed. There will be enough power for me to last another few thousand years. Thank you. Where are we? This was a heavy battle mech. It had a crew of 251 humans, a 
and 72 cordon during the reset. Thankfully, it was I was able to get them all into escape pods before we entered Admo. You said before. You've said that before. What was the reset? I'm not sure if I can explain it. During our last battle, reality had to be rewritten. Let me ask you this, in your reality, does Erdix still slay the undead? Erdix? Yes, he does. Does he know about you? What about Warlick, or Cicero? No, your Erdix wouldn't know about me. Warlick might, depends on how he merged. Warlick, of course Warlick does, Warlick knows all. But Cicero, did he land here too? Land here? I think you're confused again. Cicero is not a mage. He's, er, Cicero is a mage, not a ship. Oh, a mage. Oh, I see. What a clever idea. Tell him hello for me. He should remember me. What? <laughs> Jewel of the Four Winds? I know that the Jewel of the Four Winds has been taken from here by a man called Dracus. I need to get it back. Jewel of the Four Winds? Oh, that's what, they, that's what those ninjas call it. It's actually the Wind Orb. It's a very powerful magical item, and was once my power source. The kind priest brought it here to hide and allowed me to use it for power. He came here just as the last of my power cells were dying. Thanks to him, I was able to charge my cells again. And I've been... Guess? Why does it say that? And I've been operating off of the orb, the power of the orb, for several, several hundred years. But now that it's been taken, my power cells will die. A few hundred years. I don't think he'll be coming back for it. Yes, he warned me that he might not return the orb, and left me to return for the orb, and left me to protect for protect it. He said that keeping the wind orb and the white dragon box together in the temple was a bad idea. <clears throat> he said that he had been searching for a safe secret place for the orb for years until he met me. I was not able to keep it safe for him, I'm afraid. When the other man took it, he headed north from here, toward the camp of Okuchi no Okami. After that, my sensors failed. I'm sorry that I couldn't give you more information than that. That's alright, you've helped a lot. And don't feel bad about losing it. You kept it safe longer than most people could. Thank you. I have, a st I have to stress how powerful the wind orb is. In the right hands, it could cause limitless havoc. If the power of the Wind Orb, or any of the other orbs, is misused, it would be disastrous. Get the orb back at all costs. If my sensors had enough power, I could tell you exactly where he is, but I can't. I'm sorry. It's alright, Cordana. You've told me everything I need to know. I will get the Wind Orb back from Dracoth. According to Cordana, Dracoth took the Jewel of the Four Winds further than her failing sensors can... <laughs> Reach, but he was heading north toward Okami no Okuchi's lair. It's backwards from how they put it before the turn to fight him with this information. Alrighty, well, that's about an hour and 45 minutes. It's a solid place to stop. Next time, we will continue on with more of the Shadow of the Wind Village plotline. Until then, thank you for watching, and as always, follow me to Apex.